morning, the proposed budget cuts would terminate a nationwide after-school program known as 21st Century Community Learning Centers. There are currently more than 9,500 of these centers across the country, and they can be found in every state. We went to a school district in New Jersey where administrators say it's not only working, but there's a waiting list to enroll. As the school day ends in Plainfield, New Jersey, most students head home. Hey guys. Hi. But about 350 of them take to the cafeterias, gyms, and classrooms for a federally funded after school program known as 21st Century Community Learning Centers. So pick two fractions. We align what we do to the school day to support school day teachers, but with after school and summer learning opportunities, we can really hone in on our instructional craft and be more innovative. Zelda Spence is the director of the program in Plainfield. Almost 100% of our 21st century after school students graduate high school and obtain either a vocation or go on to college and graduate. And they wouldn't have if they hadn't had this program? It would be highly difficult. Three plus four! Seven. Our children here struggle. Many of our families are economically compromised and we're able to provide opportunities that their parents just don't have the money to be able to do. If you lose this funding, what would that mean to this district? It would be devastating for us. Okay. Brothers Josue and Joel Cordova spend afternoons here while their parents are at work. So these are your boys. Yes. Their mom, Zuleika, met us on her lunch hour to boast about their accomplishments. I've seen a lot of change for my kids with the acad academic part. I got all A's. I was like, Mom, I got all A's. And I sent her a picture. Did she believe you? <laughs> I, sent her, I sent her a picture of the green, and yeah. it was all A's. <laughs> For all the claimed success here in Plainfield, national results of the 21st Century Community Learning Centers have been less encouraging. According to the Department of Education's most recent evaluation of the program in 2014, just over a third of students participating saw improvement in math and English grades. That falls short of the target to improve grades for nearly half of its students who participate. It's a program that has really failed to meet its stated mission. Lindsay Burke is the Director of Education Policy for the Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank based in Washington, D.C. Even beyond the evidence on the program or the lack of evidence about its effectiveness, we have to ask whether this is appropriately housed at the federal level. And is it really appropriate for the federal government to be funding after school programs? And I think that the answer to that question is no. 21st Century Community Learning Centers were created in 1994 under President Bill Clinton, then expanded in 2001 under President George W. Bush. It serves more than 2 million people each year on an annual budget of $1.2 billion. If we bump into somebody by accident, what should we do? 550,000 of that goes to the Plainfield, New Jersey School District, federal funding that drops to zero in President Trump's current budget proposal. Is there any way the district could fund this program without those federal dollars? It would be challenging. Of course, we can look to write and obtain competitive grant funding opportunities, but that is not a guarantee. And sacrificing the healthy and so very important learning experiences for children, it just doesn't seem worth it. Uh, to me. The billion dollar cuts to the 21st century learning centers are about the same amount President Trump is proposing to offer to charter schools in his budget. Plainfield has five charter schools, which administrators say helped create a more than $8 million deficit in the district, and that will make funding this after school program locally a real challenge. You know, a lot of critics say, you know, charter schools are judged by the best of them. Well, this is a situation where you have locally these, these after school programs that make a difference. Difference. I think the issue is scaling up. Mm -hmm. Nobody denies the difference that they make for the better. Listen, he's talking about he got all A's on his report card. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's always a good thing. Yeah. And yeah. no easy answers either. No, easy answers. no, no, no. And when you see improvement, you have to reward it where it is. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, Michelle. Thank, Thank you very much. Many people.